The objective within this lesson is to solve division word problems involving multi-digit division with group size unknown and the number of groups unknown. Here's our first problem. Ava is saving for a new computer that costs $1,218. She has already saved half of the money. Ava earns $14 per hour. How many hours must Ava work in order to save the rest of the money? Let's draw a picture to help us solve this problem. She's saving up for the computer that costs $1,218. She's saved half of the money so far. So she's saved half of the money so far. And then this is how much more she needs. If she saved half the money, we take half of 1,218. Twelve divided by two is six. Six times two is twelve. Twelve minus twelve is zero. Bring down the 1. 1 divided by 2 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Bring down the 8. $609 is how much she saved so far. If that's how much she saved, that's also how much they need. So they need $609. Now to solve that, it says if she already earns $14 per hour, then we'll take 609 and divide it by 14. The amount we need divided by the number of hours and the amount of dollars per hour she makes. 14 goes into 60 four times because 4 times 14 is 56. 56 minus, 60 minus 56 is 4. Bring down the 9. 3 times 14 is 42. You add a 0 to drop a 0. 70 divided by 14 is 5. And that goes in evenly. So that's 43 and half hours that she must work in order to save the rest of the money. Write that out on your problem set book. Michael has a collection of 1,404 sports cards. He hopes to sell the collection in packs of 36 cards and make $633.75 when all the packs are sold. If each pack is priced the same, how much should Michael charge per pack? It does look like a division problem. First off, let's figure out how many... How many packs of sports cards he's going to be able to sell. We'll take 1,404 and divide it by 36. 36 goes into 140 three whole times. 3 times 6 is 18. 8 regroup a 1. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. Subtract those, I get 32. So 324. Let's try 9. 9 times 6 is 54, 4, regroup of 5, 9 times 3 is 27, plus that 5 is 32. So he sells 39 packs. And then so he has 39 packs to sell, and he's hoping to make $633.75 from those 39 packages. Work out that problem, and you'll have the answer. Pause the video while you do your work. Bring down the 7. 97 divided by 39 is 2. 2 times 39 is 68. 97 minus 68 is 29. Bring down the 5. We've got 7. 
7 times 9 is 63, 3, regroup is 6. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 6 is 27. We actually have enough of an answer here where it's $16.28 per each pack. of cards. Jim Nassiam is building a treehouse for his two daughters. He cuts 12 pieces of wood from a board that is 128 inches long. He cuts 5 pieces that measure 15.75 inches each, and 7 pieces evenly cut from what is left. Jim calculates that due to the width of his cutting blade, he will lose a total of 2 inches of wood after making all of the cuts. What's the length of each of the seven pieces? Let's draw a picture to help us solve this problem. This is all the wood that he cut, which is 128 inches long. From that, he loses two inches due to his cutting blade. He started off by cutting five pieces that were 15.75 inches long. Seven pieces evenly from what's left. And this is what's remaining then. First off, let's take 15.75 and figure out how much this is. So we multiply it by 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 regroup a 2. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2 is 37. 7 regroup a 3. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3 is 28. 8 regroup a 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So 78.75 of this already is taken up by those 5 pieces. Let's subtract that from 126, which is 128, minus the 2. You notice I added zeros in the, um, in the tenths and hundreds places. 6 becomes a 5, 0 becomes 10, 10 becomes 9, so this 0 could become 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 7 is 2, 2 becomes a 1, 5 becomes 15, 15 minus 8 is 7, 11 minus 7 is 4. So 47.25 is the amount that is left, and that, that's what I'm dividing by 7. Because there were 7 pieces that were equally cut from what was left. 7 goes into 47 6 whole times. 6 times 7 is 42. Subtract that. 52. 7 whole times. 49. 3. 35 divided by 7 is 5. So each of those pieces is 6.75 inches long. Is our answer more reasonable? Let's see. 16, 32, 48, 64, 64, and 16 more is 80. That was 80, all, uh, my estimate. Plus another 7 times 7 is 49. That's 129. Plus 2 is 131. Yep, that is still close to the 128. A load of bricks is twice as heavy as a load of sticks. The total weight of four loads of bricks and four loads of sticks is 771 kilograms. What is the total weight of one load of bricks and three loads of sticks?
each load of bricks is twice the load of sticks. So I've got one, two, three, four loads of bricks, and I've got one, two, three, four sticks. So my bricks and sticks together there should be equal to 771. And so my division problem is 771 divided by 12 to be able to get how much weight a load of sticks is. 12 goes into 17, 77 seven, six times because 6 times 12 is 72. 77 minus 72 is 5. Bring down the 1. 51 divided by 12 is 4. 4 times 12 is 48. 51 minus 48 is 3. Add a 0 to drop a 0. 30 divided by 12 is 2. 2 times 12 is 24. 30 minus 24 is 6. Add a 0. Drop a 0. 60 divided by 12 is 5. So 64.25 is how much each of these sticks is worth. Now, to be able to figure out our problem here, it's asking for one load of bricks and three loads of sticks. So one load of bricks, which is like that, and three loads of sticks, which is like that. So what I just circled is our question mark. That'd be five times 64.25. And this is all in kilograms. Multiply that out onto your paper to do your work.